I'm a British Argentine composer and I moved to this country approximately 25 years ago and I live in Hastings for eight years in the old town and I love it. After a while, I um, been in London many years, I decided it was time to, for me to move to, to the sea and so I live very close to the sea. Basically, um, I, I was looking to find a place to live um, with my wife where it is quiet and at the same time is not totally out of the way of, um, of life. Like being in London so many years, um, I needed to be in a place which is inspiring as well um, and contemporary. So we found Hastings and um, living here, uh, what amazed me is the amount of inspirations and the, so many artists and, and musicians that, uh, and writers that live here um, that find the same, um, being an incredibly inspirational area. My favorite area is to go to the East Hill, just behind us, where I, um, I go for walks with my pad, the music pad, and, and write melodies and harmonies and whatever comes to my soul. And then when I come back to my piano or to my studio, I write it down and it becomes a composition. After moving uh, to Hastings, uh, I launched my album a few years ago called uh, The Tides of Time, which became quite successful in the area and further in London, um, which was absolutely inspired in, the, in, in, in our area here in Hastings. I am condemned to be a um, traditional composer in the sense that I don't write avant-garde music, I don't write uh, experimental music. So often criticized about the fact that my music has tunes. Um, I feel happy in an environment where um, this is supported. Um, I have created um, several things here in Hastings. For example, I have um, founded um, an an orchestra called the Hastings Symphonia and um, it's quite successful and especially I, I created the International Composers Festival that takes place every few years, every year, every two years um, in Hastings and um, it is a home and a platform for artists and composers to perform music which is accessible in the sense of nice to the ear and not avant-garde, uh, film music, for example, that everybody loves. And uh, the main condition of being part of that festival is that the composers participating and all the music being performed there is created by living composers, many of whom come to the concerts and to the festival and participate and sign autographs. So that is uh, very special, apparently the only festival in the world doing that at the moment. So we are pretty proud about that. Well, this year is already a very exciting year for me. Apart from having the festival for the third time, I am finishing my piano concerto, um, which is the first one. Apart from that, um, I just delivered a commission by Musica Sacra, um, a big work, the biggest work I have ever composed. It's a multi-faith uh, oratorio called Liberanos that should be premiered next year, probably somewhere in the world. And um, I am going to Japan next year. I've been invited to perform probably in October. And before that, I am performing in Stuttgart in Germany. If I had to define the reason why I moved to Hastings is, uh, in, in a word, would be the contrast, the friction. Um, in my life I need the friction, in my compositions I need friction, meaning that um, I cannot be in a place which is one-sided one color. It has to be 
a mixture of several things, sometimes contradictory to each other. And this is the reason I love to be in Hastings, because the mixture between the artists living here and the fishing community is so diverse and different to each other that um, becomes for me uh, a permanent inspiration.